Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're handing over the Zone RV and the LC200 here to Wade uh, Savin. Wade? G'day, Bruce. Tell us, what are you doing here? Bruce, uh, the main reason we did this is because we want to do remote camping, and I had a situation prior that we actually ran out of power after three days, and we had to pack up and go to a 240 volt source to chop top back up. So uh, we've done this because we just want to stay off the grid and, um, and just do our own thing. Very good, thank you. Well, let's have a look at what we're doing here. So we've got the 240 volt lead here, the blue one, plugged into the van. We're gonna show you in there in a minute. And this uh, power pack here is delivering uh, 2431 watts. So you can see that. Uh, batteries are, were well charged because we've got Scotty in here. So the minute this starts up, this will replenish these batteries down here on the uh, DC power side. So we'll show you that in a second. But this is plugged in and let's now walk over to the, to the van. And uh, we've got the air con here pumping away. It's actually cold. <laughs> we've got sweaters on here. But here it is up here pumping away. And we've got the hot water on. So we're drawing 2133 watts. That's what's coming in out of the LC200, 2400. Small amount going into the batteries here. We run the batteries down low a bit. Um, and uh, no connection here on the Anderson plug. So now we're going to repeat the exercise, start it up, get Scotty running and plug in the Anderson plug. So now we're back here, we've turned off the AC power, we've just got the Anderson plug plugged in, and let's walk back again. And um, so, no AC in at all, just only with the Anderson plug from the LC200, about 1300 watts coming in here. Uh, and remember up here we've got the air con and the hot water running. Um, but that's a lot of power coming into an Anderson plug. Now it's 50, 50 volts, so um, what we're putting in here at the moment is probably about 25 amps or so, uh, maybe 27 amps. It's not, not a lot, there's not a lot of power loss there. Now to really show the power while towing, after uh, Wade left last evening, I recorded uh, both the LC200 and the caravan on the remote console here. And uh, what you can see is that Scotty's putting in about a kilowatt into the vehicle and just under a kilowatt uh, into the Zone RV. So about two kilowatts coming out of Scotty going to both and charging. It would mean that Wade could run the aircon in the caravan while he's towing quite comfortably and still uh, charge the battery in there. Uh, I have to say, this is the first time I've recorded both like this and uh, it was quite exciting for me. It's just uh, excellent to see. I have to say, how good is that, eh?